Hey, welcome to The Warp. I'm Jack Rita. And this is another video in the series of what is the best cosmic encounter alien that starts with that letter. And we are on the letter C here. Now, there are quite a few aliens that start with the letter C in the Fantasy Flight edition of Cosmic Encounter. So it wasn't an easy choice for me to make. And I was very close to choosing Cloak. Now, Cloak is one of my favorite aliens. I really like it, but I do recognize that it is a bit divisive. Some people think it is just obnoxious and silly, and it definitely is that, but it is a very powerful alien. It's a lot of fun for me to see in the game, whether I'm playing it or not. Uh, but I went with another choice, and this is purely out of the potential power that this alien power has, and that alien is Crystal. Now, this is Kevin Wilson's take on Crystal. It has nothing to do with the original Crystal from the Eon edition and Mayfair, where if a player is allying, Crystal gets to choose how many ships they're going to be bringing into the encounter from one to four. It was not a very exciting effect. Uh, Crystal was not anybody's favorite alien. So the Fantasy Flight version of Crystal is quite a bit different and it is very powerful. So let's take a look at its effect. We'll talk about why it's so insanely great. You have the power to refract. So as a main player or ally, use this power after both main players reveal attack cards. Any one player on your side uh, can discard an attack card from their hand that matches the value of your side's revealed attack card. If a player does so, multiply your side's revealed card by the discarded card's value. For instance, if your side reveals an attack 8 and one player on your side discards an attack 8, uh, it changes the revealed card to an attack 64. So right there with that example, you can see how this is ridiculously powerful. Now, attack 8 is the most common attack card in the encounter deck, so it's not unusual that you will have those circumstances occur. Um, but there are a few other cards. There's a number of sixes, there's tens, there's a couple of fours. So there is the potential for Crystal to fire quite a few times in a game. Uh, and then there's the intimidation factor. So because you can use Crystal as a main player or an ally, uh, if you're in a game that has a decent player count, so in a three-player game, it's maybe not that powerful, but five, six, and up, uh, it becomes much more likely that somebody on your side is going to have that card. So uh, there's soft benefits. Crystal can get a lot of allies, and Crystal can get invited to a lot of encounters. And you're, of course, you're allowed to say whatever you want about your hand. So you can say things like, well, I've got an attack eight, or I've got an attack 10, or I've got a 12. If somebody has a 12, Invite me along, and we can pretty much guarantee that we will win this encounter. And there are times, of course, where you can say, absolutely, I've got an attack 12, so join my side. Uh, and then I don't play the 12, I play something even lower because I figure the other player is going to negotiate or they're basically going to throw away the encounter because they think there's no chance they can win. If you have 12 times 12, uh, there's no encounter card that's going to help you with that. Even a kicker. Uh, probably isn't going to get you uh, a win against the power of the crystal and that refraction. So I think crystal is the best alien that starts with the letter C. Like I said, there are a lot of other contenders. So if you think there's another alien that is better than crystal, you can certainly make your case in the comments below. I definitely have seen games where crystal didn't get to fire that often. I can't say that I've had a game where it didn't get to use its ability even once, definitely at least once, but I've also seen games where Crystal got to fire four or five times, and five wins with Crystal, that, that's the game right there, uh, certainly if they're all on the offense. Um, if you've got a game where you're, you're playing with the reward deck and Crystal is on your side as a defensive ally, they're probably going to send four ships along, especially if they know that they're going to be able to use that ability. And uh, so, yeah, Crystal has got a lot going for it. A very powerful alien. If I'm dealt Crystal and another alien, I'm almost certainly going to choose Crystal uh, just for the sheer, the sheer power that it can pack. And it's got a lot of intimidation and bluffing that you can roll into it 
I play Cosmic Encounter as a very social game. So I talk up this ability, uh, whether I'm the main player or the ally, and uh, we make things happen. I've had a game where Crystal bluffed a lot of wins uh, and didn't have to use its ability quite so often. Um, it's a good target for a Cosmic Zap, for sure, but there aren't that many in the game. There, there's more combinations of attack cards with the same value than there are Cosmic Zaps, so you're not going to be able to overcome Crystal uh, for very long. So that's it for this one, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.